welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Twee so I have been away for about two weeks now and honestly when I came back from my holiday I was so shocked at the amount of PR packages I had they are stacked up right behind me the camera doesn't even do it justice Graham tried to sabotage me and he tried to do PR box Jenga and I'm so scared to pick out the first box if you guys haven't seen my recent vlogs yet I just come back from the Maldives and Dubai and honestly I had such a good time away I feel so much more refreshed I want to get into playing around with makeup I just created this makeup look that's gonna be on my Instagram so make sure you follow me over there and if you guys want to see what is the latest and the greatest in the beauty world then please keep watching <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with quite a good sized box. This is a box from Cult Beauty. One of my favorite places to shop for makeup, skincare, they have everything, even sex toys on there. Oh man, that was a fail, wasn't it? Yes, that's more like it. It says, welcome to the cult. Mm, I wanna be a part of that cult. Okay guys, so inside we have quite a few different skincare brands that I've never tried before. There is a spring water face cream from Sand and Sky. I haven't tried their products before, but I heard that their masks are amazing. We also have some SPF 50 from a brand called Darling. Never heard of that brand before, but I'm always looking for a good SPF. This is actually a really good size to travel with as well. Let me just quickly feel if the texture's nice. Oh, it's a bit more of like a thicker SPF. Oh, but it rubs in really nicely and it doesn't leave a white cast as well. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to whiz through all of these products quickly. Otherwise, we'll be here for like 22 hours, especially with the amount of packages I've got back there. We've got some reusable cotton pads. I've had so many things about this brand, Kapari, and I haven't tried much from them. So I'm excited to try this out. This is a body milk. I need to cream my body because right now I am dry and flaky. Oh, my God, I've always wanted to try this. This is from Patrick Tarr and it's called She Thirsty. She a thirsty bitch. Oh, what is this? It's like a mist. Major milk mist. Okay, let's try it out. Mmm. The packaging feels lovely in your hands. It feels like you're spraying on a perfume on your face. And the mist is very light. Very much appreciated. And last but not least, there is a cleansing button here from Glow Recipe. I actually had the chance to try this before it was even in the packaging. They sent me like a little tester to try before it launched and it's so nice and so creamy. So thank you so much, Cult Beauty. Also, I think I should probably do a disclaimer because sometimes I feel like these PR unboxes can be taken a little bit out of context. All of the products inside of this video has kindly been gifted from the brands. It's definitely one of the biggest perks of my job. I get to try the latest in beauty and the brand sent it to me in hopes that I feature it in a future video or try it out and let you guys know my thoughts good or bad I'm not getting paid to show you guys any of these things and of course I'm not doing this video to brag or anything like that I thought it would just be nice to sit down open up a bit of makeup swatch it for you guys play with makeup also to chat to you guys as well I haven't filmed for a good two weeks so this video is just literally to catch up talk about makeup and just hang out okay next up I've got this really cute box in the mail this literally looked like something I would have designed in D&T class who remembers was D&T design and technology did they want to have those classes no just me and I'm old okay <laughs> oh my god this is Kaylee's brand so my friend Kaylee MUA who I had done the Morphe campaign with she is one of the nicest people I've ever met her and her boyfriend Darren they are the sweetest couple ever and she's just launched her own beauty brand called Cash Beauty and look she even made a little wax stamp on here oh okay so her brand consists of eyelashes oh these lashes are nice They're so fluffy right up my street there is also a eyeshadow palette in here oh Ooh, this is a good everyday eyeshadow palette do you guys want me to do a look using this palette let me know i can't even imagine how nerve-wracking it must be to launch your own brand i only hope to experience that one day even just launching a collaboration it's already so scary i can't imagine launching your own brand that you invested your own money in it's Something that I admire so much whenever creators do their own brand. I'm like, oh, I hope I can do that one day. Oh my God. And she's also launched some lip kits as well. The packaging of this is really nice. It's like velvety, like a soft matte. And it just slides out like this. Oh, so there is a lipstick here and also a lip liner. Oh, that's a nice corally lipstick colour. You guys know whenever I go away on holiday, I love wearing corals like this. It just makes you look a lot more tanned. Congratulations to Kaylee. If you guys haven't followed her yet, please go follow her. She is so creative. She does a mixture of like crazy Halloween looks and also really beautiful wearable looks as well. So congratulations, Kaylee. I cannot wait to play around with your brand a bit more. So speaking about bloggers and launching 
launching your own product. This is so freaking exciting. My friend Ling has actually collaborated with Isla, also another blogger called Kami as well. And I just think it's so amazing that Isla is launching new products with beauty creators, boys and girls. Like I just think that that's just so lovely. And the team at Isla are just so nice as well. So we got my girl Ling here and here she is. Okay, I have a funny story about this, guys. So maybe around a month ago, I went to Hakusan to celebrate Ling's birthday, and she actually gave us a bag and surprised us all and announced her eyelash collaboration. So I actually already had her eyelashes for a month, but I couldn't talk about it. I actually had to hide it away because I was so scared I was going to expose her secret in like a vlog by accident or something. I'm so excited I finally get a chance to play around with these and talk about them. But this is their official PR package. So you have Kami's on one side, and then the other side is Ling's. And I'm especially proud of Ling for representing the Asian community. Let me tell you guys, for us girls, it's so hard to get brand collaborations. I'm going to be completely honest, guys. Sometimes we are looked down upon as just like a number to tick. And sometimes it's really hard to get a brand to notice you. I am so proud of you, Ling, for creating some amazing eyelashes for like hooded eyes and monolids, all that good stuff. And her lashes are so pretty. There's three styles. There's one called the Empress, Pretty Princess and Yes Queen. And her eyelashes are launching exclusively in Superdrug. So make sure you go check out their eyelashes in store in your local Superdrug and I literally cannot wait to play around with her eyelashes a bit more. Alrighty, I've got the next package in my hands. Oh my god, we got a huge package from Fenty Beauty. So they sent me quite a lot of top-ups of their foundation. I've got a matchstick and beach bum here and they also sent over another box and I think this is for their Christmas collection. I cannot believe that brands are now releasing their Christmas stuff. I'm like, Please just let us get through October first and then start talking about Christmas. I honestly feel like this year just whizzed by so quickly, but I haven't done anything at the same time. I'm just gonna move on to the next topic. Something that I really love about their Christmas collections is that these are actually limited edition colours. A lot of brands, they will just launch the same colours you can get all year round for the Christmas collection. And we're like, no, we want new stuff, bitch. There's also two new shades here called Unmatched and also Underrated in their mini, mini liquid lipsticks. And then in the other package, they just sent me loads of like top up. So the new brushes that's just come out. They also sent me a new mist as well. We also have a kilowatt highlighter and also a blotting powder as well. So thank you so much Fenty Beauty for sending me some top ups. I always need a bit more Fenty, you know what I mean? You guys see sweat on my forehead, it's because I'm low-key having a little panic attack because I feel a little bit claustrophobic with all the boxes around here, guys. Okay, so next up we have a package from Laura Mercier. And if this is what I think it is... I am gonna be so stinking happy. I have been dying to try the honey powder and I feel like every blogger and their mama got it and I'm like, why? Why haven't I got it yet? But it's because it wasn't launched in the UK. Oh, so we have a little Laura Mercier bag. This is what you get at the grocery stores in America, right? At Trader Joe's or something. Here it is, guys. This is the bad boy I have been eyeing up on everyone's stories. It's the honey translucent powder. I also love it when brands send a little bit of something else as well. It just makes it even more exciting, you know? So this is a little pot of honey. Oh, Lord, mercy, honey, this is going to be so nice for my future house. <laughs> Manifesting to manifest that house, baby. Let's try this powder. Ah! I wonder if I could wear this powder when I'm normally a bit more pale, because it does look quite dark. It's more like a dark yellow powder for sure. So it's definitely more of like a deeper yellow. It's not like a pale yellow powder. It's definitely a bit deeper than banana bread from Huda Beauty, for example. Okay, I'm going to try it with their powder puff, which is probably one of the best powder puffs out of all the powder puffs there are out there. Do you really have to interrupt me, stupid guy? Okay, so I'm a bit shiny now, so I'm gonna test out their powder puff with the new honey powder, and let's see if I turn yellow, because normally I probably wouldn't go for a powder this dark. Hopefully it does work for my skin tone. Oh, it's actually not that bad. It actually applies on a lot lighter than I thought it would. Oh, that instantly mattified my face. Can you guys see the difference? Shiny bitch mattified bitch <laughs> also if you have a deeper skin tone they had a translucent powder in like deep dark but that one is really really dark it's not really one you probably use for baking underneath your eyes whereas this one would be perfect for you if you have a deeper skin tone if you guys have seen the video that me and danny filmed the say it or shot it challenge i said in that video i think i got kicked off the top pr list well now baby they sent me a massive box filled with the latest stuff she actually got in contact with me let me know that they're no longer sending out pr packages because i think they were 
sending out quite a lot at one point and I think quite a few people wasn't liking that. I love PR packages, okay? I'm never gonna complain. So they actually reached out to me to see if I want to try anything new and they have so much new things. Like they have an eye treatment from the Maracuja line. They have repackaged their skincare now. There's so many things that I really wanna retry from Tarte because I feel like I haven't heard from them in a long time. But they actually reached out to see if I wanted to give you guys a free discount code. So you guys can use my code TWEE and you guys can save yourself some money and I think they might have been doing free shipping to the UK as well but I'm gonna double check that but you guys can use my code TWEE if you guys want to buy anything off the Tarte website and save yourself a bit of money. So something that I really want to try from Tarte was their Shape Tape Body Makeup. I actually saw this on Melissa's wardrobe stories and she was saying how amazing this body makeup is and it doesn't rub off and I was like oh I cannot wait to try it. I love body makeup especially me I get so many mosquito bites I get bruises and you can see all my little leg hair dots and stuff it's so annoying so I'm always asking there any way to make my body look like it's been photoshopped you know trickery is real obviously i am very tanned right now so medium actually might suit me let's see how much coverage this has oh it's quite nice it's like not like a thick thick foundation it just kind of like blurs the skin and just kind of smooths everything out can you guys see like this is my horrific tan lines <laughs> clearly i was just laying out like this or something i wasn't tanning the sides of my hand it just evens out your skin tone looks great on camera nice and glossy so next up we have a package from drunk elephant one of my favorite skincare brands of all stinking time this is so exciting so they sent over a night kit i'm not gonna open up this set because i might give this away <laughs> if you're lucky make sure you are subscribed bitch so inside of here you have some of their best selling products especially at night time you have their new micellar water their glycolic night serum which is lovely their whipped cream moisturizer and also their water facial as well as their jelly cleansers and it also comes with a little compact meal which is super cute i actually have all of this stuff in full size already so i'm going to keep this for a potential giveaway in the future <laughs> next up we have a little package from Too Faced I actually thought I got kicked off the Too Faced PR list because I haven't received anything from them for so long I haven't heard from anyone in their team for so long I was like oh maybe they hate me but I got the latest launch hey so this is the Born This Way matte Ooh. I don't think there's anything more satisfying to the ear as an oily person to hear matte in the name of a makeup product. When you're an oily bitch, you just want to be matte everywhere. Oh, there's a foundation. Oh, okay. I love the Born This Way foundation, but... I felt like it made me quite shiny after a few hours. So hopefully I'm gonna love the Too Faced Matte. They gave me the shade Golden Beige and this says it's 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. Oil controlling, transfer resistant, humidity and sweat proof and waterproof. Where was this when I went to the moldings? Cause I really needed some long wear foundation on that trip. As much as I love being tanned, a lot of my foundation doesn't go anymore. It's so annoying. Two years later. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so this is really hard to show because at the moment my skin tone is very burnt, okay? <laughs> but the texture, oh, it's very full coverage. How crazy is it that this would have matched me like two weeks ago? And now it literally looks like white paint on me. But the texture is really nice and it actually covers up really well. Obviously I can't wear this now, but when my tan fades, I cannot wait to try her. Okay, next up we have a little package from Summer Fridays, another one of my favorite skincare lines. Ooh, it says, open me. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. So this is the Soft AHA Exfoliating Solution. They also sent over some reusable cotton pads as well. I actually already have this product. I have used this a couple times already and it's actually really, really nice. So now I just have an extra backup. So thank you so much, Summer Fridays. This is a really nice gentle exfoliator. A lot of times with AHA solutions, you have to be really careful about the amount of times you use them. It's a really nice lightweight, kind of like a thicker formula. So it feels really hydrating at the same time. Next up, we have some goodies from Nars. Look how cute this bag is. This is for the new Climax Mascara. I actually missed the launch of this because I was away and they had a really cool event with Jamie. Wow, this brush is very different from the other one. This one's nice and thick and girthy. And the formula looks really black as well. Ooh. Ooh, I cannot wait to play around with this. I actually feel really sad because I know for a fact Nars would have done some amazing event for this launch, but because of COVID, everything's ruined. We also have a mask as well, a Nars one. You can never have too many in these current times. Okay, we also have a eyeshadow palette as well. Oh, the same packaging as the mascara, lovely. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at these shades. Very autumnal, guys, I cannot believe it's officially autumn. Like, we're probably gonna be changing back the clocks now. That's when you know winter is coming, in the words of Jon Snow. 
winter is coming. Oh my god, I am so excited about this. So I have been obsessed recently with watching music videos and I've only just discovered that Madison Beer is like a singer. I've always followed her, but I thought she was just like a really, really pretty girl, but I don't know, she's like a full on singer and she just released a collection with Morphe. This is a nice PR package. Okay, Morphe, okay. If you guys don't know who Madison Beer is, look. Feast your eyes on this goddess. She's so pretty. You know when you can just stare at someone for so long because she's just so pretty. Now she's done her own collaboration with Morphe where she has some lip glosses, which is all nudes as well. Like every girl just loves a nude. This palette is a bit of me really. So this is Madison's eyeshadow palette with Morphe. Of course you guys can use code TWI. Okay, help your sister out. Use my code. Your girl has a house to buy. Okay, she's got furniture to buy. I have a mortgage that I need to pay one day. So if you guys could use my discount code for Twee. If you ever purchasing anything from Morphe, it helps me so much. You have no idea. Oh, let me try one of the lip glosses. This is in the shade Satin. It's more of like a pinky kind of colour. Oh, it's very creamy. Oh, yes. Oh, it doesn't feel sticky as well. I literally cannot wait to play around with these eyeshadows. Oh, she's creamy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me know if you guys want me to film a makeup look using this palette because I will if you let me know. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I still have so many more boxes to open up, but I think I'm gonna show them on my stories and also on my vlog as well, because otherwise this video will be so overwhelming. I tried to pick like the best of the best brands to feature in this video and all the other stuff I'll do on my other little socials. So if you guys like this kind of PR unboxing, let me know because I actually get so many packages all the time that I don't really show my stories no more because I don't want it to look repetitive. But if you guys like this kind of longer format where I get to kind of open everything in one go, let me know. I can definitely film more of these or feature them in my vlogs a bit more. I always want to make sure I'm showing you guys like the best of the best and let you guys know the truth if it's good, if it's bad, even if I get it for free. That's it for this video guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have turned on your notification bell because I'm going to be doing future giveaways very very soon and I'm also thinking about doing my charity bundle bags that I've done previously. If you guys know, you know because that literally sold out in like 24 hours. So if you guys are interested in buying a bundle bag let me know down below. I think I can make it international this time. Fingers crossed. I would only do that if it's highly demanded from you guys. So let me know in the comments below. Let's chat to each other, start a conversation, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Mwah. Hello, check in one, two, three. Mike, Mike. Oh my god, I haven't filmed for so long. I don't even know how to do this. I don't know how to do my job no more, guys. <laughs> I'm tired already. I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. The jet lag is real. I... Oh, everything's going everywhere. This room's a mess. I've only been here for like three hours and it's already like a tornado. Where should I put the rubbish? And last but not least, oh, so yeah, if, so yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys hear that? It's just things falling off my table because there's no room in this house. So. My brain is like so confuffled today. I can't make sense of what I'm thinking or saying. I literally cannot play I cannot play away. Help me. Woo! I can finally pick my nose in peace. Oh my god. You guys don't even want to see the mess that I've just created down here. Count yourself lucky that you are not seeing from the waist below because it's all right from up here and then from down below. That's where the real life trouble starts. It's been so long since I haven't seen your face. I'm trying to be strong. Who remembers Acorn?